This is a 1972 4 horsepower Johnson outboard engine. And today on Patriot Contraptions, I'm trying to find out if it actually has a functional water pump or not. Let's investigate. Let me explain a little bit about how an outboard engine works for some of you guys who may not actually have an outboard or have had the chance to look into it. So on a high RPM engine like an outboard, there needs to be some way to take the heat away from the head of the engine. On a normal car engine, this is done by liquid cooling. However, on an outboard engine, um, there's no room for those fans and coolers normally, so instead what's done is the water is taken directly from the river, which is already cool, and then sucked up from somewhere by the propeller all the way up to the top of the outboard engine, and then on the newer outboards it tends to be shot out in a stream from the back of the engine so that you can tell that the pump is actually functional. However, on these older Johnson engines, you can't actually see where the water is um, put out because it's actually underwater itself. It's that little thing that's right above the propeller there. Um, you could call it a weed guard or something else. I just call it the exhaust tube for the water because I don't know the actual term for it. And the problem I'm having is I can't tell if it's actually putting out water or not. Now, when you're a mechanically inclined guy like me who doesn't know if something's working or not, the logical next step is to take it apart. And that's exactly what I did with this Johnson outboard engine. I decided to remove the lower head. Now, this was actually very simple. I simply took off four bolts that were holding it on and then slid it out of the main holding assembly. And as you can see here, that long part sticking up is actually the shaft that goes down and connects to the propeller on the end. The upper side of it just goes into kind of a slotted or grooved uh, gear and that holds it to the upper head of the motor. Now what you can't see is what I'm looking at right here, and that's a little quarter inch um, tube that comes down through the middle section, and that's where the water is actually pumped up to the motor. And it goes to this little hole here. Now that hole and this little assembly is a direct drive impeller pump that is driven by the motor, which I'll take apart in just a minute here, and that's what actually supplies water up to the head and keeps it cool. In order to take apart this little impeller pump, I had to first remove two small bolts that were holding it in place and then slide up the top section off of the shaft in order to actually see the impeller, which you can see here. Now this is our little impeller, and as you can see, it's actually in really good shape, which means it's probably functional. But just because something looks functional doesn't mean that it actually is. And at this point, I also want to say that this impeller is keyed on. So there's a little keyway that's in there that holds it in place, and if you pull up on it, it will come up and off. So just be careful um, if you decide to actually take this apart not to lose that little keyway but that propeller will come up and it also will slide off of the shaft as well if you really want to take it off and replace it. However, mine looks good, so I'm a little confused at this point as to whether this pump is actually functional. So I decided to take the lower head over to our tank and do a little testing. After, of course, putting the pump back together by sliding that other part back down the shaft and screwing it in place. In order to test the lower section of the uh, pump in the tank, I would need some way to spin it, and I decided to just do this by hand, by trying to spin the pump really fast. And as you can see, there is actually water coming out of that little pipe. It's really quick in the video and hard to tell, but it is coming out, so I know that that lower unit is functional. However, just because there's water at the lower unit doesn't mean there's water at the upper side of the unit and that it's not clogged up. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a little pond pump that I happen to have lying around. This is a low pressure pump. And I'm just 
holding it up and sort of trying to hold it onto the quarter inch tube that comes down from the top of the motor head just to push a little water through and see if it comes out the other side. And as you guys can see, there's plenty of water coming out. So that is getting flow through the motor head, which means this motor is actually being cooled by water, which is fantastic. So I'm very happy to know this. It was a little worrisome to me with these older engines not being able to see that it's shooting water out or not. So this is how I tested mine. I don't know if it'll work on yours or not, but it was kind of a fun thing I did. So I thought I would share it with you here on Patriot Contraptions. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more cool videos coming up, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my other content. I have a lot of cool builds out there, both of uh, tractors and also on um, various bicycle builds that are kind of neat as well. So I'll see you in the next episode. As always, have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions. Signing out.